Hey guys, thanks so much for coming back to another video. This is going to be part two of four of the Thread Up 200 pound box. Um, we got a couple good things in the last one. I couldn't wait longer to open the second box. I'm probably going to wait to open boxes three and four for a few days so I can process some of this, but we're just going to jump right in. This was actually sticking out the top of the box because it had a little hole in it. This is Target Wild Fable. It is new though. It was $25. It is a cute dress and it did get dark outside so sorry it's a little darker in here there's that that was the only thing i had really saw because it was sticking out the top this is a cardigan my sister's in here if you notice the light moving oddly this is a cardigan with absolutely no tags that i can see there is an extra button but no tags okay that made the light worse on the video that might be okay right there. Okay. Uh, so just like a floral cardigan, but no brand, no size. Probably just gonna go straight to Disney. This is something. This is Millie New York original. I think I've either sold this brand or seen it before. Um, there's the tag down here, but it's very faded. I think it's just a cotton, I think it's a dress. It's very interesting. It's kind of like a coat dress. So I'll have to look up if Millie's good. I can't remember. Let's see. We have something white from Shein. This is like a square top. I'll probably try taking this to Play-Doh's as long as it's not got a stain or a hole. This is a size US 12 or XL. And let's see. This is this Banana Republic. Kind of feel like it is. Well, maybe not. I don't know what this is. Here's what this looks like. It is a, like a blazer jacket type thing. I don't know. Buttons don't say. I think it might be a Banana Republic, but I'll put it on the screen if I can figure out what it is. Another Shein top. This one's a medium. Another thing I'll try to take to Play-Dohs. They'll probably love me bringing in a whole box of Shein, but maybe they'll give me a little bit for it. <gasps> Ooh, this is good. This is Ted Baker, which I've never found before. I know not everything by him does well. I hope this is not like got a huge hole or stain, but let's see here. I'm guessing it's silk, but maybe not. No, 100% polyester. Well, I don't know why this brand's so expensive that they can't even use silk, but it's just a collared floral sheer shirt. Really pretty. So happy with that. Happy for not another piece of Shein, which this is probably, no, it isn't. This is John Galt, which is like an offshoot of Brandy Melville. Little crop top and it has a button on the back. And they have like a one size fits small or all thing. Whatever this is, I'm getting ready to pull out, has some kind of schmutz on it this is cachet which is an, a pretty good brand i might try to wash these um size 10 it used to be like i think a mall store or something like that i don't think they make it anymore i saw a spot on the front but they're like just white pants but yeah they've definitely got and they're lined they got a lining but definitely have some some marks and things so I don't know. We'll see what we can do about that. I wonder who sends this to Thread Up. Like, oh, it's all stained. I'll just send it to Thread Up. This kind of looks like old name. No, Wild Fable, size medium. So Target. It is a jumpsuit. My dryer actually has a wrinkle setting, so I'll probably just throw this in there with that if I decide to list it, which I probably will. Got something floral. This is Universal Threads, size extra small, so also Target. It is purple floral dress. I don't mind dresses as much by them. At least it's something a little more substantial. This is Young, Fabulous, and Broke. So that's a pretty good brand. They do sell a lot at Marshalls or Ross or something. This is size small. It is new with tags. It is just a plain green. Got a little knot at the front. Well, that's not bad. 
Let's see here. This is Valerie Stevens, size small. I don't know. I don't know anything about this brand. So I'll have to look it up and let you know if it's anything. Let's see. This is Talbot's. Ooh, it is a 2X Petite. So that's a very specific size. But it is a stripe top. I love to sell Talbot's. It's a great bread and butter for me. So I will list that for sure. I've been happy with these boxes so far. I mean, there has been some, you know, Shein and, of course, Old Navy and yada yada, Target. I've never heard of this brand, Chouse, Chouse. It is a, a popover blouse. I don't think it's silk or anything. It's 100% polyester, but so was the Ted Baker shirt, so maybe it's good. Okay, this one, oh, no, that's just some fuzzies. These are Land's End, and they are very blue. Uh, do, do. Women's size 12, original fit. Okay, my light bulb is flickering. When people walk around upstairs, that light bulb flickers. Um, just a pair of blue pants. They do have like the white stitching on the back. I don't know, I'll think about those. I'm trying to be realistic with myself about what I'll list and not create a huge death pile. This is an Ann Taylor skirt. It's a size 12. I think I'm gonna have to fix that light. It is a size 12 and this is the tag. I think it did have a belt at one point. So I'm gonna pause or my sister's going to do this. Uh, no, 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 no. Maybe that'll stay on. Okay, another skirt. This is a new day. Oh wait, I lied, these are pants. Um, size medium, a new day. Another Target brand. These have a very subtle like herringbone, I think this is. No, not herringbone, what is this called? Hound's tooth, that's the word I'm looking for, print. Let's see here. Ann Taylor, get... <laughs> that light, Ann Taylor size 12. This is a career skirt. Probably can get 12 to 15 out of that. New with tags, um, DG2. I don't know what this says, Dave, John, Dave. I don't even know what that says. It's a size 12 petite. I'll have to look this up. I don't know anything about it. Pink pants. There's no retail price. Uh, individually dyed, it says. Um, just tells me my colors may bleed on there, but yeah, pink pants, wide legged. Something brown. This is Zara. Always happy to see Zara. It's not. Um, you know, a high-end brand. It is missing a button. So it's like a brown top, but this button is missing. So do we have an extra one? Of course not. Somebody already tore off the extra one. So apparently, <laughs> this light, I swear, apparently this top just likes to lose buttons. So we'll see. We might do something with that. Okay. I'm going to pause right here and climb up and do with this light. Okay, I think maybe the light crisis has been averted. This is called 89th and Madison, size six. This kind of looks like a stitch fix thing, but maybe not. These are a pair of pants. They've got like a stretchy feel. They've got a pattern. I guess we'll see. Here is a coat or something of that sort. Ooh, Lauren, Ralph Lauren, size medium. This might be wool. It's like a blazer. One time in a men's box, I got a blazer, but it was a women's blazer. It was like a size, I don't remember. I'll put it up on the screen and I think I got like $60 for it, maybe more. So I definitely don't hate this kind of thing. This is a wool blend. So yeah, happy about that. It definitely needs a good lint roll. And it just has one button, it looks like. So hopefully that button is there. That's a sleeve. Oh uh, yeah, here's the button and it says Lauren Ralph Lauren on it. But this definitely needs a good lint roll and I'll look it over and make sure there's no holes. Got something fuzzy. Rebecca Taylor, exclusive, size small. Um, I hope this isn't shrunk. It's so hard to tell with sweaters sometimes. 
and it has little like holes or factory holes you know like a design down the sleeves it's really flat fuzzy my gosh so this is 54 percent alpaca 21 percent merino wool 24 percent poly made and one percent others whatever that means it doesn't make that like crunchy wool sound so i'm hoping it's not shrunk i think it's not because if it's a small it's just like cropped but i'll look up see if that's any good being alpaca i assume it is man i'm getting a lot of coats <gasps> oh my gosh you guys this is alice and olivia which is super duper expensive it is a beautiful trench coat or maybe a trench dress I don't know. It's gorgeous. I don't, right off, I don't see a size. So that's probably why Thread Up didn't want it. But I can measure it. It's probably, like, I'm a medium large. My sister is like an extra small, small. So we can definitely figure out. This is probably a small from judging it. But oh my goodness, so excited about that one. Oh, well, hello. Bridesmaids, mother of the bride dress. Oh, okay. This is Teriani Couture, a hundred percent silk, size eight. Um, I don't know anything about this. I don't know anything about these kinds of dresses. I can look it up. I know Thread Up does not take evening wear like this. Well, evening wear, but like formal gowns and stuff. So I'll have to look that up. It's got a lot of jewels down here. So that screams to me, I'm gonna have a, something wrong with me. Oh, look at this. Um, apparently this is the box you need when you're going out to the club or something. This is Adriana Papel, which is a really good brand that, um, it's a size two, is known for their bridesmaids dresses most of the time. So this is like a sequined out gown, very shimmery, very pretty. Does have some marks down here on the lining I can already see but probably won't and somebody cut out the materials tag probably wouldn't even bother with that because it'll be hidden but I would of course disclose it and last oh oh so that thing is new with tags that whatever I said that brand was Teriani Couture um, it's the color mocha has some extra beads but yeah this is probably looks like the cover-up for it I don't know. That's very interesting. It's got all these tags, so it is new. All right, this is not an evening gown. <laughs> this is Victoria's Secret. Wow, that came out weird. Victoria's Secret tank top. Um, it does say Party Harder Spring Break 2014. So that's interesting. It was 1950. I'll probably still list it. Some kind of sorority girl might want it. We live our glory days. Um, this is L size four, some pants. This will probably go straight to the donate because this brand is not good for me. And those are not very exciting. We've got a little bit of denim. Ooh, blank NYC, which is sold at Macy's or no, not Macy's, Nordstrom and Nordstrom rack, I think. Blank NYC and this is called the Fulton, which is, I guess the style. It looks like they're a, I don't know, high rise shorty or something. And size 27. I love selling denim. I wasn't really expecting any because they do. Um, oh, this has a YKK zipper. They do denim boxes. What do we think this is? What brand do we think it is? Maybe it's Madewell? Oh, no, it's Reformation. Oh my gosh, this box is so good. This is so much better than the first one. And this is a size two. How cute is this? Oh my goodness, this box has been so much better than the first one, even though I love that for Love and Lemons dress. But this has been so much more. And back to not exciting, this is Express. <laughs> Pink dress. We have a, oh, this was like leather. This is called After Party by Nasty Gal. Size extra small, but it's like a suede skirt. And, oh, it's cute. Has these little cutouts at the bottom. I'm trying to see if this has a a tag because it feels like real suede. And uh, I'll look for another tag and I'll let you guys know if I know. But it's really heavy. It doesn't feel like faux suede. 
but it's cute. We have some more denim. Oh, these are Madewell jeans. Look at that. Hopefully you don't have a big hole in the crotch. Okay, doesn't. <laughs> I'm getting too excited, guys. These are called the dad jean, so that's good. Size 24, so they are small, but this is a really popular style and they're distressed. Oh, we still have like half this box to go. Well, not half, maybe a third to go. So I'm excited. Oh, this is anthropology. It doesn't say, what is this? Well, it's anthropology, but it says by anthropology. So I'll have to look. Oh, I think maybe that's just their house brand now with that red line. It is a size X XL, that's great. Um, should be able to find at least a stock photo to figure out what this is supposed to look like. Hopefully. Yeah, this is cute. It looks like a cardigan, maybe, with, like, the ruffles. You don't always find anthropology in the XL, or for me, I don't ever hardly find it above a small. Carl Lagerfeld, another designer, you guys. This is becoming just an awesome box. Okay, this is just polyester. I was trying, actually, to see a size, and then I forgot. Um, I don't see a size right off, but I'll look. But it is a cute gingham plaid jacket. Then we switch to <gasps> Athleta. I just ordered 40 pieces of Athleta oh, from um, Cozy or uh, Healthy Threads. But this is like a puffer jacket and then it has the sleeker sleeve. And Athleta usually has a tag down here that tells you what year it's from. Fall of 2020, so not that old, and it has a hood, size medium. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this box. The last box, I'm like, yeah, I'll list this stuff. This box, I'm like, this is awesome. Ooh, this looks like an expensive tag. I've never seen it before. Varley it is a really cute, chunky, kind of striped or two-tone sweater with some zipper details. And it says that on all the, oh, my husband's looking for the remote upstairs if you hear that whistling in the background. It has a style, um, it's called the True Knit Mirage is the, I'm thinking this is good guys, because if you know, please let me know down below. Um, let's see, it is, it has 3% wool and I don't see a size. But maybe this is one of those things that they don't really have sizes. Oh, no, I'm just dumb and didn't turn this tag over. Right there, it says medium. So excited for that. I'm excited to learn some new brands. Okay, let's see. This feels not that great. GP and J Baker with H&M. So this is like... Here's what the tag looks like. So it's some kind of collab. And it is a top with like little birds and stuff on it. Let's see if it has a size. There's a tag down here. I don't know. Sometimes collabs can do really well, even better than... I know there's been like people who do stuff with Adidas or Nike and their stuff does so much better than just plain old whatever it is. Oh, this is a free people tank top. And it is so soft. It's like a, like a, um, I don't know. It's just super soft. It's a size large. We the free. It's cream. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, guys, more Reformation. I've never found Reformation. I've only ever sold it after getting it in a Helpsy box. No, Jamar box way back when. These are size medium. I hope Reformation is still a good thing. Okay. Whoever packed this box at Thread Up, thank you. I was so scared seeing that wild fable tag at the top. This is just a plain Nike tee, green, size medium, still listable. Zara, size, maybe extra large. I don't know. The US size is covered, but this is like a. I don't know if this is supposed to be a dress. It's an extra large, but or just like a tunic. I don't know. Something like that. Got some American Eagle jeans. They are white corduroy. 
They are a size six and they say the jegging. They're like I said, white corduroy, as long as there's nothing wrong with them, I'll list them. Uh, here's something wrong with them. The pockets are fake. So that stinks, but I guess that's factory for you. Um, let's see, tank top. This is called, oh, that just says flash dry. What is this? Do, 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 do. Hmm. It's got, oh, it's the North Face because it has the little like authentic, authenticity sticker down in here. Where was the tag? I'm missing the actual tag here. Uh, okay, well, definitely the North Face, but I'll have to figure out what size and stuff. It's just like a workout, I guess, tank or hiking tank. Has some whole like designs and it says flash dry on it. But other than that, I don't know. Something new with tags. WWW dolls, <gasps> dolls kill. New with tag. Okay, this says current mood on it. But then on here it says dolls kill. I've seen Becky Park on Poshmark sell Dolls Kill for hundreds of dollars. So I'm really hoping this is something from them. I don't know. You guys let me know if this is good. I feel like it's good. Even if it's not, it's a cute dress. Probably not worth hundreds of dollars, but maybe it's worth something. This is interesting. I lie. It's Zara. Size medium. It's like a... It's got some kind of wrap deal. I'm not even gonna hold this up to me because I don't want that image on the internet. <laughs> okay, something pink. Jones, New York. Very Elle Woods-esque trench coat that is very pink. And it looks vintage. Let's see if, oh. Uh, it says made in the USA. So I guess we'll see. We have some good old Chico's. It's a shimmery tank. I love to sell Chico's. I generally like selling, this is a size zero, so this is like a Chico's extra small. I found the size like two, three, four do best for me. Chico's does vanity sizing, so that's kind of an extra large or something. Ooh, another free people top, size small. I've never seen this tag. Now, when I do this, the, elect the elastic's making some scary noises, but um, it's a really cute top. Very free people. It does tie in the back, so that tells me it's probably older, but I might still sneak something out of that. Made by Anthropology. This box has been so good. And a size small. So much better than Old Navy and Shein and all that. Calvin Klein, size two. I do not knock Calvin Klein career dresses. They do really well for me. Really pretty cobalt blue. And I will of course do a better check on this stuff once I'm done filming. Brobby B, 100% silk, size six. And it is a dress. Uh, Yeah, like a, wait, you're not a dress. Unless you're very revealing. It's like a dress, but this whole part is open, so I don't know. Maybe wear it over jeans? I hope. Okay. Gap, size six. A really cute polka dot button front skirt. This is Jack by BBU Dakota, size extra small. I cannot get this brand to move for the life of me. Don't know why. But it's just like a little sheath dress. So, I see, I can see some loft pants, which are not super exciting. Oh wait, these are called the Riviera short in the size 10. I've actually sold these same shorts several times, but they're in a different color. I think I can get like $12 for them. This is a mystery. Oh wait, here we go. Ann Taylor. Oh, it's like printed on here. Madison skirt. Um, I don't, oh wait, zero, zero petite. So very tiny, but still listed. Something very colorful. This is like farm Rio. I'll just die right here. 
no, it's Banana Republic, so don't worry, I will not die right here. Banana, Banana Republic Factory, size four. Kind of feels like silk though, and it is a very pretty dress, and it was dry cleaned. But look, this is such a pretty print. It kind of looks like Farm Rio, right? So that's really pretty. It feels like silk. I'm not gonna try to dig under all those layers of fabric to see. We have Jen's Pirate Booty. Oh, okay. You guys, <laughs> I've never found this brand either. What? These are shorts. This box is so exciting to list. Like, oh my gosh. I don't know where the size is since I've never found this brand. Maybe it's on another tag down here. Is it silk? Polyester. Oh, I lied about the Banana Republic dress. It is apparently polyester. 100%. 100%. <laughs> Jen's Pirate Booty. That is so exciting. Oh, and these look like they're new without text because here's the little button. Oh, they're a size medium on this part. So, so excited. So many new brands I've never found. Oh, thank you, Thread Up. This is J. Crew, size double zero, J. Crew Factory. Cute little polka dot top. And. Maybe I open the worst box first. Wouldn't that be great? But it's going to be kind of hard to top this one. Banana Republic Factory, size zero, a white skirt. And it has, wait, oh, that's just a zipper. I thought it had boning in it, but it's just a white little skirt with some cute pockets. That's a fuzzy. Yeah, skirt. We've got maybe 10 pieces-ish left, so we're getting there. This is Valerie by Valerie Stevens. Okay, I had this in my last box, but it was a this is 100% silk, so maybe I need to look that brand up. This is just a silk top. Sometimes the fabric content sells it. All right, something leopard. This is, we're back. We're back, guys. This is Old Navy. <laughs> the fantasy is in, dude. These are size four, but they're still really cute. I'm still excited to list these. Maybe not as much as some of the other stuff, but why not, right? It's all listable. This is Lucy which usually sits about 10 years for me. If you've never seen, this tag's kind of faded, but this orange bar is their thing. I've never sold their leggings, so we'll give it a shot. Okay, something J. Crew size zero or J. Crew factory. This is from 2012, little skirt. I told my friend today I was manifesting some, the light started again. Some Lily Pulitzer and stuff, but this is another, I'm not making this up. This is great. Like this is Draper James, which is Reese Witherspoon's line. How, oh, and it's new attack. Uh, okay, okay. And this was $115 for this, this shirt right here. That looks terrible because I'm holding it and it's all messed up. And it feels like maybe linen, 100% linen. Okay, I'm on cloud nine. You guys can't take me down. You could not take me down. <laughs> Just don't leave some mean comments, please. <laughs> this is Zara. This is cute. So excited to sell these brands for the first time. This box alone should pay for my costs. This is J. Crew 365. I don't know what that means. Size four. A really pretty orange like slip dress. I wonder if this is silk. You guys, I'm not going to be good at the fabric contents today, apparently. And I don't know where this one is. I see some Under Armour shorts. And the tags cut out. That's always the case with these things. Under Armour. I might list those. I might not. Just depends. They're an easy sell if I can figure out what size they are. We have a loft dress, size medium. Very cute. Stripes. Classic. Nautical. Man, the Wild Fable, it got me. It got me because I thought this box is gonna be all Target and I'm so glad it wasn't. J. Crew, uh, turtleneck. It does not have a size up here, so I think someone cut the size out. But it feels like wool. Okay, who was this person that cut all the tags out? Those people cannot be my friends. I'm just kidding. Uh, but it feels like wool. All right, maybe I underestimated. I think we have Maybe five left now. These are called Mirror L. I don't know. Size is cut out. I guess that's going to be the theme of the bottom of this box. It's 
some black pants. Got something pink. This is uh, Under Armour, size small. Just a little workout top. It's got a little bit of wash wear. Not anything too bad. All right, I think there's three pieces left in there. So this is Halogen, which is sold. This is so cute. This is sold at like Nordstrom, I think. It's got like this two layered look. Ruffle at the bottom. And yeah, nothing special in the fabric, but this is a really cute top, even though halogen doesn't do well for me most of the time. Okay. This is Michael Stars. Okay, I've never found this brand either. I'm not as excited about it, but it does do well sometimes. It's a black top that will definitely need to be lint rolled. I show you I'll try to show you guys the tag, but it is very okay, there you go. Kind of hard to read. Like black on black. Alright, next to last here, we have Banana Republic size large, and it has what is a large hole. Black, large hole right there in the front. You see it? Yep. Alright, last item is new with tags, and it's called eye candy, and it has a cell phone pocket in case anyone wanted to know. Size large, and these are a pair of like bike shorts. Okay, you guys, that was so exhilarating. That was like the best thread up box I've ever opened. And yeah, I cannot wait to list this stuff. It's so much better than box one, but still having a lot of quality inventory to list. So if you guys want to, don't uh, forget to subscribe and like the video and I'll see you in part three. Bye.